Welcome back. Working on my double decker trailer from my PDL Old Town 120. Let's walk around here a little bit. And uh, this comes in a box from, I got it oh, tripping on it. I got it from Amazon for like 140 bucks. And it comes in right here, this little box. Notice right there it says Made in China. New pickup rack for ladders and stuff like that. So anyway, here's uh, the front half of it already put, assembled and put on. It says US patent number blah, blah, blah. I wonder if it's really a US patent. Doesn't matter. So these normally, when they fit on the back of a truck, you'll take this part right here, it kind of breaks right here. And you spin this around to the outside. Of course, you have to flip this one with that one and that one with this one, vice versa. And what I did is it comes with bolts to drill through the top of the bed of the truck to, you know, to bolt it down. And with these little trailers, you'll just drill your holes in the side right here and bolt it on. And then let me put you on the tripod here. One thing you might want to consider, it depends on how much space you want, how tall you are. Now, I'm a 5'9 guy. And this is, this is the height I'm going with here. So when I put another kayak on there, it was not too heavy for me, or too high for me to load up. And plus, I can put a small toolbox here and still see in it. Now, if you're a taller guy, or you just have more space, or your kayak's taller or something, instead of putting it on like this, and you can take it and turn it like this and modify it. And you'll have to get a, Go in and get another piece of this pipe. Uh, you could probably get a conduit that would fit pretty good, but that would give you a huge amount of space on here if you need it, if you want it. If you're just putting kayaks up there, it'll probably be okay. But by doing that, one, you won't have this to go up against. And two, you can you imagine if I put a toolbox up here, I'm not going to be able to see in it. So, I'm going with the regular height. And I don't have to buy anything extra that way. And if you do, if you do it like this, it's pretty much plug and play. There's no extra stuff to go hunt down like a piece of pipe. Let's see to make the distance there, extra distance. And make sure that you got this pushed all the way down. If you don't, you think it's, it's you know, slid down far enough, but it's not. You go screw it all the way in. What happens is the set screw will fall all the way down in this tube, and you have to take that off, shake the screw out. Put it all back together again. That's up to you. Uh, I had to do it once. I felt really stupid for doing it. But I thought I had it all the way down like that. And I pretty much I just put my set screws and, and this is done. What I like to do is move my tail lights up higher so it's more in view of the tailgaters so they can see it real clearly. And not that I would be backing into the water to, to drop my kayak. Uh, if, you know, if I did, then uh, I'm going to have to worry about getting my tail lights worked. That's 52 inches. And these do slide a little bit. So that's 52 and a quarter. Slow down the side. That's good. Yeah, 
that's within an eighth. So you can add some lights under here, which I probably will. And then I'll put a toolbox up here uh, to charge small batteries. And I can put a solar panel up there so it can be charged my batteries during the day if I'm using a battery on the kayak for whatever I need. So that's pretty much it for the day and I'll catch up with you guys and gals in a couple days with another video on the Old Town Kayak. Um, about to get those repairs done. I kind of throw, I got two or three projects going at any one time. So see y'all soon. Peace.